Today we will look at the events that led up to John Lennon getting assassinated 43 years ago today. Hi, my name is Travis. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's get right into it. John Lennon was fatally shot outside of his New York City apartment on December 8, 1980. He left an immeasurable mark on the world, both in his life and in his death. The musician who was widely considered by many to be one of the greatest songwriters of all time, rose to fame with the Beatles in the early 60s, and after their breakup in 69, he established himself and had an individual solo career that was fantastic. Sadly, his life was cut short. His killer, Mark David Chapman of Hawaii, confessed at the scene of the crime. He later told the parole board that all he was seeking was fame. On September of 2022, he said that he knew what he was doing and knew it was evil during his parole board hearing. But although he knew it was evil, he was willing to take a life for faith. Lennon was survived by his wife, Yoko, and his two sons, Julian and Sean. Lennon once told former band member Paul McCartney he wondered how he would be remembered post-mortem. He said he would wonder how people were going to demonstrate that. And his death was the subject of an Apple TV three-part series named John Lennon, Murder Without a Trial. Actually premiered December 6, 2023, just a couple of days ago. The series featured interviews with eyewitnesses, friends and family, and even the defense attorneys of Mark David Chapman. Chapman went and grabbed a hotel doorman after the shooting and said, I just shot John Lennon. Chapman and Lennon crossed paths earlier that day. Lennon signed an album for Chapman that day called Double Fantasy. The Hawaii native brought the gun three months before coming to New York and shooting John. Once the shooting happened, Eyewitnesses say they heard John Lennon say, I'm shot, and then he fell to the ground. This was at 10.50 p.m., and when emergency vehicles came and rushed him to the hospital, he was pronounced dead at 11.01 p.m. on arrival to the hospital. John Lennon was 40 years old. Yoko Ono said that night after they left the studio, Yoko wanted to go pick up some dinner for them. But John said no, he wanted to go see Sean before he went to bed. A silent vigil was held in Central Park that had over 100,000 people. Chapman has been in prison since he was arrested after the shooting. He pled guilty to murder in June of 1981 and was sentenced 20 years to life. In September of 2022, he was denied parole for the 12th time. Yoko Ono has been to every single parole hearing to make sure that he is denied. She never wants Chapman to get out. This day will forever be etched in history as a tragedy that occurred 43 years ago. Rest in peace, John. You lived a wonderful life. Your music, your fans, you were a father, a husband, and you were a good person by all accounts. And you will be truly missed. If you like anything I said in this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. And until next time, the Libra Man is out.